Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be going over the Bitcoin chart and I'm going to look at what are we at right now, what levels are we looking at, why are we there and let me tell you, you're in for a surprise because this is going to be a no-nonsense video, non-stop technical analysis, talking about trading because that's what we do, that's what we are and that's what we educate. So get ready, put your seat bells on and get ready for this video because I think you're going to learn really a lot and most of all, hopefully really enjoy it. Cheers, everybody. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. What have you been up to for the last few days? Well, at the moment, looks like we are heading a little bit downwards. Are we getting a pullback? Are we getting a total rejection or a trend reversal whatsoever? Well, that is one of the questions I'm going to attempt to answer and give you some of the insights as to why are we turning around here? But before we can even answer that, we always have to answer the question, how did we get here? So let's first build a little bit of context. As usual in the, in the videos that I do, we have come off of a decline in price from $53,000. We have made our way down all the way to 39,400-ish, uh, 39,500 levels to be, uh, to make it more like a rounded number. We have ranged there for a little bit. We have never taken these lows again, which showed incredible demand, which gave way to the rise to the upside, where as we were reaching resistance at the time, right over here at $45,000, we consolidated there a little bit on the lower term time frame, And afterwards, we simply squeezed up massively massively on Friday, after which throughout the weekend we have been ranging uh, sideways really and from there on out we have made once again our way upwards. So how, is, how can it be that we are turning here and not there? Because surely there must have been levels along the way as well. Yes, that is indeed true. But the thing is that once you are actually trading and as we speak, we are dropping in price right now, which is uh, obviously very interesting because that makes the video a lot more exciting. So keep, stay tuned, keep on watching as I'll be going over the context over here because we have been going sideways. And yes, we did hit some key levels over here. Now they're a little bit less relevant, obviously, because we are now above it as we speak. However, during the weekend, we have been ranging literally, literally sideways, uh, not doing very much. We had a fake out to the upside only to literally swing failure pattern, these lows before, um, you know, a lot has happened. Uh, lots of longs were closing and lots of shorts were uh, opening there at support. And that provided the fuel for a further rise up. Now, the thing is that, and I will, I will, I will emphasize this when I will show you, I enjoy life and I talk a lot. I also joke around in real life quite a bit. Although whatever I say, I never mean to harm anyone. Uh, whatever I say, it's always meant in good spirits. And basically I'm a real life troll, but uh, no harm meant. I never meant, mean to disrespect people in general because I am a very loving person and very positive minded. However, when I'm talking about Bitcoin, I am that serious. I'm very professional, professional and simply I just boss it because for example, yesterday, as we were making the rise, we basically shot up, we had a retracement guess who caught the exact low as an entry and closed pretty much at the exact top. Well, there you go. This is chart champions for you. Don't believe me yet. Well, here, here we go. While we were still in the range, <coughs> predicting that specific swing failure pattern, as we were still forming the chart in a sideways range with the key levels there at the moment, I literally wrote here before the chart even progressed over here. And if you don't, if, if you want to be 100% sure, this was on October 4th at 1245 UTC plus two, which was before the New York Open, right? Um, planned the trade exactly, uh, short, short trades and long trades. And 
I have to mention this, by the way, in the video. This is obviously not financial advice, right? So I'm not giving any signals of enter the trade here or enter the trade over here. But I am always uh, uh, talking about these trades in a way that can help you learn and progress. Um, and this is only to emphasize that I am not joking around when I'm talking about Bitcoin. Because I have planned these two trades literally in advance uh, based off of swing failure patterns on support at resistance. Why not here? Why here? Well, simply because I envisioned a swing failure pattern to happen into the CC before dropping down into another swing failure pattern before creating that fuel for a further rise up. Well, let's move over to the next picture. Here we go on New York Open, exactly, literally exactly as predicted, catching that that short onto the dollar into the CC, swing failure pattern this high, dropping down below to this monthly level where we in the end swing failure pattern that low precisely to almost to the dollar exactly longing it back up uh taking profits where i envisioned to saw the strength kept the long open all the way to basically this weekly level upon which in the end i have entered into a short position now now that you are aware that I'm not joking around, why are we turning around here? Well, there is a level over here, which is a weekly level. And that weekly level is obviously taken from that latest rise in price, right? All the way back from the rise coming from July. So we've ri risen up to over, over here, created the weekly level, reversed back down, and then reversed back up where we are currently experiencing at the moment looks like a pretty stern rejection. So <laughs> you can already see a lower level down on the chart. Essentially, I wouldn't say there's a lot to worry as long as we hold this particular daily level, lose this daily level, however, then I would say Bitcoin is in a little bit more trouble because in the end, what goes up really fast can come down really, really, really fast. So um, those are at the moment the two main levels to keep in mind. And uh, you must be wondering by now, why did we reject over here? So this is essentially where the real educational part starts because in the end, the order flow showed uh, that uh, that momentum was just tapering off essentially. So this was the latest rise in price. You are looking here at the de Delta profile where you can see the buying and selling volume in terms of Delta. If you wanna learn more about it, way too broad of a subject to just explain in a short public video stream. So I would say study the modules that we have on the website. If you're not a member, then become one and study and learn what this is all about. So you can see here, whole bunch of volume, had a retracement, then the next rise up into new highs, tapering off in volume, lower volume, lesser buying pressure. However, you have the latest longs opening up at the very top. To be precise, you are actually having 2.8 million, 2.13 and 2.3 million at the very top at that weekly level of which in the end you initiated a small retracement ranged on for a little bit in the end trapping all these, uh, all these, uh, all these longs and made our way further down. Whereas you know, now we are making our way even further down. So that brings us to the point where we are at right now at the moment. So really two, two levels, this weekly level at the moment, clear this weekly level, then I would envision ab around $58,000, lose this daily level, then we would be looking for $43,000 next. As long as we are in between these levels, one could potentially envision some sort of a sideways range. Um, as these are the main levels for the local price action that is happening right now. Um, that is as simple as it gets. Uh, I trade level to level. Uh, once a price, uh, once price hits one of these key levels, I look at the order flow, what is happening at the moment, combining this with the context that I'm reading from how did we get there during the, uh, the entire rise by analyzing the move up. I make a plan on how I want to trade this on a daily basis. I make a plan how I want to trade this on a scalping basis, which means very quick trades in and out, in and out, in and out, small amounts of money, but volume of trades, you know, brings it up to, uh, turns it up a notch essentially. 
and then all the way to a swing trade, which are trades that are taking a bit longer to um, develop. So um, that is in a nutshell what I am looking uh, at on the Bitcoin chart. Um, with that, I think this is a great moment to wrap up the video. So just to summarize, at the moment we are getting a rejection off of this weekly level. Should we clear this level, then I look for higher prices, of which I think $58,000 is one of the most important ones. At the moment, forty-seven six seventy. Uh, important support, lose that level, then I would be looking for 43,000 level next, lose that level, um, then obviously we're gonna, going to go lower. However, that would not really be necessarily very relevant to, uh, to think about because we're not there yet. Because as long as we are staying in between those levels, these are, in my opinion, the only levels that matter. With that, I hope you have a very, very nice day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video and see you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Bye.